Yay. Well, I'm here by myself with my blue hair and Maureen's here now. Yay, Maureen. Yay. Well, I've got stuff going on. Hi, Maureen. How are you doing? I am good. How are you? I am fabulous. Got the hiccups. Oh, no. I hate that. I hate that. Um, I'm loving the blue hair. Me, too. You can't be a good head of blue hair. Really. Not at all. Not at all. I can't wait. I I changed my name. Oh, it didn't do it on this one. I was on a Zoom this morning on the Go Giver uh, Alliance, and I changed my name to Spurfet. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff was laughing at me. I said, "Don't don't laugh too hard, there, Papa Smurf." <laughs> right. I'll be after him tonight. That's we're doing our own show tonight. So I know it. Papa Smurf. <laughs> Papa Smurf. You know, I wanted to tell you, do you remember when you um had put that Go Giver was um, on having a special for $11? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I joined it. Oh, that's awesome. But then I couldn't figure out how to get to it. Right. I couldn't yeah. figure anything out. So last week, I think it was when they sent me the receipt for my bill, I saw the www.gogiver.gov and I clicked on it. I was like, oh, that's where all the good stuff is. Oh. They got a whole bunch of stuff on there too. And they do stuff all the time. Like I think tonight's a networking thing. It's during when we're doing our thing. So I, I'm not going to that one, but I usually go to some of it and they have uh, next, the big one, I think if um, is next week, uh, Jeffrey Gittimer, the speaker. Oh, okay. I'll look at it. That is really going to be worthwhile. That that would be worth your whole membership for the whole year. Yeah. And then I, um, is good. And then I don't know if you've ever heard of him, but I joined um, Jay Shetty. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. I Jay Shetty, him. he's on top. He's on, matter of fact, the cover of Success Magazine last month. Oh, my God. I love him. Yeah, I love him. Awesome. I'm reading his book right now. I um, So I joined his genius. Nice. I joined his genius. That's awesome. So yeah, he's uh, awesome. Oh, I love him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, well, by joining his genius, I found his address, so I'm going to send him a card. Oh, nice. Perfect. That's perfect. Oh, you know, I had a um, <coughs> a, a win, and I think it's a lot to do with the sending the card thing was that um, for the endorsements for the book, of course, I'm, I'm trying to get some powerful endorsements because uh, Jeff's getting some good ones. <laughs> Not that I'm competitive in any way. But oh, not you. You know, Jeff is like the first man that's given me a run for my money. That may, I cannot outwork him. I, wow. I, I, right. I, I usually don't have trouble in this department. But when I have a partner like that, it's usually I'm working harder. I can't outwork that man. What in the hell? He's a hard worker and he's coming up with new stuff and he's willing to go do stuff all the time. Right. So wow. anyway, um, I want to make sure I'm holding up my end, which he also feels the same way. I think that's why we're <laughs> getting so much done. <laughs> but um, so I'm trying, I was trying to think of some big endorsements, but what ended up happening was um, I made a list at the beginning of the year of if I could have a bunch of people just say yes to being on Monday Morning Madness, who would my like dream list of people to invite would be. And one of them was Leslie Bennett's, the one that wrote The Feminine Mistake, because I've loved the book for more than a decade. I really think she's got some useful information and that's what I based my whole thing on. Or actually it's not based on that, but it was like verified my whole thing about women need to be able to make their own money and all that stuff. You need to be able to support yourself. And her book just verified all that with actual data. That's the thing. But anyway, so I wrote her on my list of someone I really would like to see on Monday Morning Madness. And what I did was I just looked, I Googled her to see if she still had a website. She's retired. She did. And there was a form, a contact me form on there. And I thought, I'm just going to give it a shot. So I sent it to her. And in the comments, I put from your number one fangirl. 
(laughs) (laughs) And I sent it and she wrote me right back. And she was, she was on Monday morning madness earlier this year. So um, anyone that's on, Hey Marie. Hey, Hey Penny. Hey Debbie. Anybody, Deborah, I'm sorry. Do you like Deborah? <laughs> okay, Debbie. Okay. Uh, anyone that's been on Monday Morning Madness, how, what I do for a thank you is I do a screenshot on YouTube of us together on the screen, you know, a shot that we both have our mm-hmm. eyes open and stuff, put it on the front of a card and then send them a thank you with, with sent out cards with some brownies. So after she got, Leslie Bennett got that for doing the show with me earlier in the year, she wrote me an email and thanked me for it. And then she said, um, if you ever want to do round two, let me know. So she was willing to do a second show. So what I did was I saved that in my back pocket because by the time I, that happened, I was already knee high into this project with Jeff. And I'm thinking this, this book would be right up her alley because if this is not a woman empowerment book there isn't one this is a woman empowerment book even though jeff's the one that wrote it a matter of fact i often ask jeff he's a chick right because this is a woman empowerment book the way it's it's written so i knew leslie would love it and so recently i emailed her back and i said i did want to book you for another return and if you would be so kind as to read this book, and if you find it worthy, give us an endorsement. Now, just to tell you her credentials, she spent 10 years as a reporter for the New York Times, mm. and she was the contributing editor at Vanity Fair for 24 years. She's a she's a, a big uh, high roller big there. Deal. So anyway, she wrote us a really nice endorsement, and I got it the other day. <laughs> <laughs> so right I was so excited but all of that was because I think it's a combination of things it's I was willing to reach out to her even though she's obviously not in my circle of influence at all she doesn't know me from Job you know what I mean and I was also made sure that I followed up with the thank you and the brownies and stuff and I had by the way I had no trouble getting her address because I told her exactly I said I send every one of my guests a thank, an official thank you and uh, a treat. And would you mind giving me your address? I haven't yet had somebody say, no, keep your thank you note. You know, nobody <laughs> says that. They just give it to me. So um, I think that makes a difference because she said to me, um, usually when I do an interview, you just don't hear from the people again. So she said, I said, well, I'm your number one fangirl. Come on now. <laughs> 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 but um, I think that makes all the difference in the world so that later you may want, and then I'm trying to drive business to her too. I, that's part of the whole go-giver philosophy is like on each one of the endorsements, it's going to have their URL. So, and on the shuffle card for the book, the carousel of products is actually the carousel of endorsements. And when you touch it, you go to the endorser's website. So I'm trying to bring them value too, so that not only will they feel really good about being part of this project, but any project going forward, I'll have all these contacts too. So it's, it's sent out cards can help you um, build the relationship to start with, thank them once you get into the relationship and keep it going. You know what I mean? And then as you're going, that that's why this project is working so well. I think from Jeff's point of view, he doesn't know me that well. We we only known each other a year and a half, and even then, not that well. You know what I mean? From his point of view, everything he's seeing me do, he thinks I'm doing for the first time that I just thought of all this stuff. Right. And what really happened is all of this stuff I've probably done at one point or another. It just so happens that this project, I'm pulling it all in. I'm trying, I'm using every trick I've got, including doing my hair. <laughs> no, I'm pulling it all in because I, you know, want to impress the socks off that man. <laughs> Usually I make them keep their socks on. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm pulling out all the stops. And it's funny that, um, <laughs> Someone, you know, that hasn't been privy to it all along doesn't realize that it's 
this stuff I've used already before, like the wristband. Mm -hmm. That's actually really working well. We're getting a lot of social media for it. And I've done that before. We did that when we did the formidable four. Yep. And we, we had the people at the convention collect all four from the four of us. Remember, that was a whole thing. I think did I still have all mine. Oh, do you, did you get yours, Marie? No, I'm waiting for it. I'm going to walk. I'm going to walk to New Hampshire and get it. <laughs> really? Because now that's been a little while, hasn't it? When you, well, when you, you first when told you me, it? yeah, let me see if I can look at the date that I nailed it. Um, I don't, as a matter of fact, J Jeff said something. I'm going to say something to him tonight as a, something to talk about. Um, he, he has a spreadsheet on everything. I'm a notebook girl, so I can't <laughs> just look your name up, right? I, I need him to do that. I need to put him in charge of the list is what I need. There you go. Yeah. But um, he's, it's funny because have you ever met somebody? I'm sure you have, because this has happened to me before where you meet somebody and you have so much in common and you think so much alike that it feels like you've known them way longer than you've actually known them. Yeah. That's, that's him and I. We, so I, I think he knows stuff about me. He doesn't. And he's the same way. So he he says to me, "Oh, you know me. I'm a. I I got a spreadsheet for that. I didn't know he was a spreadsheet man. You know what I mean? I don't know. And what's funny is, oh, did I tell you about broke my heart though. He said, um, I thought he asked me to do this project with him because he knew about my marketing stuff. That he, I that's what I thought I was known for, and um." He said, oh, you're giving me more credit than I deserve. He said, I asked you to do the book because you're funny. You're funny. On <laughs> and I'm like, I, I think I'm offended. Because <laughs> I'm thinking he's, he's thinking I could hold up my end of the deal by marketing. And yeah. he was thinking I'd have good stories to contribute. He didn't realize. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I guess it's good because... Um, <laughs> He actually, he calls me his marketing magician. So, <laughs> right. He thinks it's awesome. But anyway, let me look for your. Well, when I was talking to you uh, on um, Messenger the other day or last week. Yeah. You, you said you'd send it out then. So. Because I didn't send it earlier. And it wasn't for any other reason that this wasn't scientifically done. I was just looking at yeah that's comments. what you said yeah so i must not have you must not have commented as much as some other people or something um right here what's the date for this um it was almost a week ago i don't know the only thing i can think of too is um i had a couple of them um so far three total out of 350 i had three total um one of them came back and they tried to say i owe 39 cents because they said it was too thick and what happened was um that's why i had to um tape them all mm -hmm. is because if it ends up in the envelope like this it's too thick right yeah but well like if you sent it a week ago it should come any day okay so, if you don't get it, yeah. I'll, I'll send another, but it could come somebody, one person out of the three, I got two back, one person out of the three got a notice trying to get 39 cents out of them. Hmm. So it may come postage due 39 cents, but yeah, it should okay. because it does fit in there. It's the right weight. It's the right width. Mm -hmm. The only thing that might've happened is if when it went through the machine, if this flipped up or something, it might've uh right does something to it but they shouldn't be able to charge that but you know i've 346 others or whatever didn't have a problem yeah but hopefully that's not what happened and you'll have it not right <laughs> i'm only halfway not even halfway i've got 750 of them. oh wow right but um they're they're not that much money and i think it's a very effective thing oh and, right yeah. The reason I'm saying is because this idea, maybe you could use at some point for some one of your organizations that you're doing something with, or um, even your, your direct sales business, you just never know, you know? Yeah, yesterday we were in the car and we picked up the mail and before we went anywhere else. And I said to Roy, 
he was going to put all the mail in the back seat. And I said, no, no, no. Is there anything from Lisa Wilbur? <laughs> he's looking at me like, he said, you are just like a little kid. I said, I know. I'm impatient. I want my band. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and when we were on the thing yesterday, oh God, <laughs> the network marketing magazine thing. Oh, Debbie, you were there. Oh God. It was it was awesome, except that Jeff is way more of a big deal than me. It's just that we're in my my industry talking about it, so they don't know Jeff, but he is he's earned way more in his lifetime than I've ever earned or any of that stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm like, in, <laughs> and they were treated <laughs> like my sidekick. Oh, weren't they? It, they oh, were. They were. It, uh, yeah. Oh, that must've been fun. Oh, I enjoyed watching oh. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought he was a good sport about it. He, <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yeah. That was kind of embarrassing because I know the truth, <laughs> but, um, a bunch of us were on with our bands and and they would say something and we'd all go <laughs> that, that was kind of fun but um i think i've got so far pictures of like 50 something people that oh. took a picture of themselves with their band so make sure you put your face in the picture when you do yeah because some oh, people we'll every day oh awesome <laughs> um some people are just posting pictures of like their wrist which yeah, is okay, so that it's it's um not as fun i think because everybody's rich you can't tell who's who where if it's your face and i'm going to make a collage at the end with all of us on it hopefully and uh i want to make sure i have a lot of faces <laughs> is alex going to get his hair done oh no 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 no, no. okay <laughs> no jeff jeff is the one we want <laughs> yeah he was laughing because on the go giver call this morning i changed my name on the zoom screen to smurfette and uh <laughs> he was laughing i said hey, hey don't laugh too much there big boy you're yeah. going to be papa smurf. <laughs> yeah hey <laughs> <laughs> so that that was funny poor papa smurf <laughs> yeah and, and i don't know if you saw i did a uh as as part of trying to use all the senses a jib jab one where we were dancing the Charleston, and I'm sure he's sitting there thinking, "I did not sign oh, up for this." <laughs> you know where you put the face in? I put the face of him and me doing the Charleston. Oh. <laughs> Crazy! And I'm gonna I'm gonna do another one for Halloween for us too, but uh, <laughs> yeah, you know he's sitting at home going, "I did not <laughs> sign up for this." <laughs> oh, that's good. But anyway, let's talk about some. Um, What's going on? I do want to go. I'll go really quick over these because you guys all know these the sizes. When you're doing a project, some some projects are going to be, and I actually like to use all the sizes. So I I go around different ones. Uh, the four by six is the postcard that does not go in an envelope. I use it most often for something like um, it, this one is an announcement of that me speaking at an event. And I sent it to everybody in the state where the event was. So it just was an easy way to do it. And I didn't need to do a lot of, I just grabbed this graphic off the events website. And then you can just do it by zip code. And I did that for that. But um, the other thing I've used it for a lot is um, my mother lives in a retirement home and they have like a, a central table where they get their mail. And I send them pictures of them that the place posts on Facebook because they don't print their pictures off. So they don't often, they <coughs> remember that they had the picture taken <laughs> and then they go through the mail and they're there. Wow. You know what I mean? Oh, that is funny. They're there for everybody to see so that they get a kick out of that. But that's why I use sure. the most for that. Um, lately, when I send somebody their picture picture, I've been using the flat card, which is, this is the size of it. Okay. It's not, it, this is the whole thing. It's just a, a two-sided thing. It's bigger than a postcard. It's um, five. Uh, this is four by six. This is five by seven. Um, so it would fit in a frame if you're sending it. But mm -hmm. this, because it goes in an envelope, 
it doesn't get machined on like the postcard does. Yeah. So if you're trying to send somebody their picture to keep or frame, you want to do flat card because it goes in an envelope. Oh, that's okay, Maureen. Um, and uh, this one was actually Easter Day sent it to me. It's funny. Some of my friends, I call them last names like we've been in the military together or something. <laughs> but, right. Easter Day, it says, uh, hashtag Wilbur is losing her mind. Hashtag how many other colors will we have? Hashtag man hugs only at the book signing. <laughs> That's what he put on the back. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and then we have the two panel card. Now I was thinking, you know, that thing tonight, the Avon thing where Michael's going to be doing a recipe, you could make that into a card for your customers, whatever he ends up doing. You could do screenshots if you want to. If he shares a recipe, you could include the recipe in the card and the screenshot of Michael on the front that you take and then whatever product he highlights. Cause the reason he's cooking is he's gonna use some of our products. So whatever products you could include in the card. Uh, this happens to be someone that sells um, Watkins and she does mm -hmm. cookies. And then she puts the um, ingredient and the recipe up here. And instead of like vanilla extract, it says, Watkins vanilla extract. So it's advertising her Watkins stuff. And then she did a, this is the directions for the recipe. She did a word search using the words out of the recipe. Oh, cool. So it's a real interactive thing. And this is her own picture of the, how it came out. Hmm. But you could awesome. do that tonight because there, Michael Sunstack is going to do a live cooking show. And I'm sure he's going to give you the recipe. And then yeah. whatever products, maybe do a threefold and then whatever products you could highlight them in the card and then put, of course, your ad on the back of how they get them. But I like that. Yeah. And then this one is also Easter Day. Yeah, it's like we're in the military together, isn't it? And <laughs> he, he sends me examples of his, which I love. Um, but he put coming soon. And this is a lot of products that are coming out for Christmas. Some of them are, are regular, on the regular on the line. And he wow, just three, a three panel, but I like the color coordinated, nice green that he used to do with the skin. Oh, yeah. yes. And I like his wording on it too. Um, and even did the, like an Avon exclusive item for the ear pod things. That's and cool. then inside he put, I hope this card finds you well. What a fast year it's been. The holidays are coming. I thought I would showcase some of our newest items for you. Be sure to check out the website. And it's That's and he cool. says, and then how about the shipping? Uh, but this is a perfect kind of card to keep in touch with your customers. Even right. if they're getting campaign mailer, they're also going to get a personal touch from him. Mm -hmm. uh, he also includes, which I love, is uh, that's one of his color pages. So he colored that himself and it's a Christmas tree. So that's, that's awesome. neat. That is awesome. And this one, um, this is the one I'm using to send. This is our, our new book. Oh, look, my hair color is close. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Perfect. All right. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking, I, I forgot about how this felt last time I did it. And I was thinking, oh, I'm going to go to the grocery store later. <laughs> a couple of weeks in, I forget it's blue. But when you first do it, I keep thinking everyone's looking at that. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I'll get over that. But so this, I put this cover on the front and it says, it said the lady with the blue hair.com, which goes to the shuffle card, which as soon as we go live to be able to order right now, we can't. As soon as we do, it's going to be the link on the shuffle card. But right now you have the, the cover there and all the endorsements on the product wheel on the shuffle card and some mm -hmm. other stuff too. Matter of fact, there's links to just about every video that I've ever been in that I could find on YouTube. And likewise, everyone Jeff's ever been in. So every interview, every my Richard Famous wow. one, all of that stuff is on the shuffle card. So that's kind wow. of, but anyway, so I picked some of the endorsements. This card I'm sending to, and I did a three uh, trifle. Um, I'm sending to people that I don't think are big on social media reading it that might have missed the fact that we're doing a book. 
Mm-hmm. So that's who I'm sending it to. And I started with um, all the all the authors from View from the Top. Those 60 people have been in a book with me. So this would mm-hmm. be interesting to them. So, and I, I'm just going from there and building my list. I already have sent that to, and of course I have a list in my notebook. <laughs> but I've already sent the book announcement out to 81 Mm. at four cards a day. Now um, I can, the way I did it was I put in uh, four endorsements that I think most people would recognize. And then I switch out any that I think if I have one that I in particularly think the receiver would recognize this way it's set up right now was mostly for the view from the top authors because there were so many of them. And I thought they would recognize Bob Berg, Molly, Big Al from the Big Al books. And the other one was um, John Fleming. Some of the ones I didn't put Bob Berg, I put Angie Rossi. So it depended on who I thought they would recognize. And then I just put a panel, this panel just has uh, Jeff and I here and then Alex with the book cover. Mm. And it just says something like, we're excited to announce our book, <clears throat> the dates it'll be available, and the fact that Alex did the design on the front. And that's it. That's the whole thing. The back doesn't have my ad. It has another endorsement on the back. So it's just kind of like an announcement card. But I'm doing them four day, and I'm adding to the list every day. That's cool. That's good. It's just another way to get more people yeah. to know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? So another thing, um, this is that other idea. You may remember this from before. You know, the coupon codes that you can set up yourself on Avon, Scola does that. And then she does it the first day it's available. So it would be the first day of the new campaign when you know what the car, the coupon codes are going to be. And she sends them to all of her email list that gets the coupon codes because they have to get it to be able to redeem it, right? She only sets mm-hmm. up the ones that are free to her, just so you know that. And then mm-hmm. she may, sends this card out immediately. And what she does is takes a, this says, here are the codes. So she sends all of the uh, codes to all of her list. So they get like five emails all at once. And I said, don't they complain about that? She said, no, because they. she tells them ahead it's to make sure they get whatever deal they want. So mm-hmm. she sends them all, sets them all up, whatever's free to her. And it says, use your name, under your name on your Avon, on, on Avon.com, once you sign into your account, under your name is a red dot if you've set up the codes. Click on it to view the deals and apply your to your order. I didn't even know about the red dot till she told me. <laughs> so she put the instructions here. And then down here, she does a screenshot of what the deals are and what the code is. Now, once she set up in her, this is an explanation of how to do it. Once she set this card up once, she just has to change the codes after that. Mm -hmm. (coughs) So she doesn't have to redo the whole card. And the other thing is she does, she picks a product. This one is uh, she picked the pineapple core and put a recipe for pineapple rum punch here so she picked the product and did something of use for the product it wouldn't necessarily have to be cooking but we have so much cooking stuff right now that would make sense but isn't that a cool card that's nice nice. creative yeah and she's been doing that for a while so we, we saw every kind of card so far the postcard the flat card the two panel and the three panel the only one we didn't see is the big card and this one um happens to be the little kid soccer uh, team that I sponsored. I don't know if you can see it. It says Lisa's Avon ladies on their shirt. (laughs) And um, the two coaches right here and here, um, because I was the sponsor, I took that seriously. And we did a pizza party at the end that I organized and paid for. And I wanted to make sure I had gifts for the coaches. So I sent this card, two of them, to myself. And this was like the official picture. And then in here, I had them do a crazy face picture. 
where they're all doing something goofy. And I put the goofy picture here. Then I just put the roster and the year and a couple of things I got off a line. And this is where all the, the autographs go. So this one's blank because the two that were autographed, I gave to the coaches. I sent myself one for an example to show. Right, yeah. And it says, thank you for a great season. Now, when I did these, luckily, um, and they still do that, they have uh, gift cards you can buy, right? with sent out cards. So these came with the gift cards I needed to give to the coach. And all I did was brought a bunch of colored markers uh, to the um, to the next game with me. And I had the kids, when the coaches weren't paying attention, sign the cards. And then it was a surprise at the pizza party. That's so, cool. Yeah. I heard later, not from them, but one of the coach's wives said, they were wicked impressed, right? Because none of the other coaches on the other ones, the sponsor didn't do anything. So mm -hmm. to me, it's if you're going to spend money being a sponsor, you might as well do this stuff because they're going to remember that forever. Right. Sure. So they also are going to remember what I do forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not yeah, like exactly. Is, do you know someone who does, does Avon that they're going to think of anybody else because they're going to remember me from this? Mm -hmm. So I think that's why you want to be memorable and do the extra stuff. And just think, these cards only cost me $1.50 because the big yeah. card is $1.50 extra even with my subscription. But how could I have got this done any other way for $1.50? Yep. Yeah, even at Staples, I couldn't have that. It would be more money than that to make a big card. So anyway, that's that. So you you guys knew all that stuff. <laughs> Did you not? Did you what do you have that I can work on with you so that I'm not just rambling? You want to do an espionage? That sounds good. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. I love doing espionage. I've had not, I've not done as many as I normally do. Oh, that wasn't right. Um, just because, where's the share screen? Okay. Um, I've been doing so much with the book stuff. Yeah, I've been giving Jeff a hard time. I'm like, uh, man, you better get up here and start taping some wristbands with me there, pal. <laughs> I'm like, it's starting to feel like I'm taping too many of these without you. Yeah. No, it's funny. I, I'm sure that's happened to you, hasn't it? Where you met somebody that it feels like you've known him for a long time. And he's just that guy. It's, it's funny. He's such a nice man. He really is. Yeah. And you know, there's stuff like um, co coincidences, like in the book, he talks about the Marriott Marquis, the hotel in New York City. And people that know me that have read the book said, that's so cool that you included that. Because between 2018 and 19, me and the kids stayed at that hotel three times. Because wow. it's like my favorite one. It's in Times Square. We went to Broadway. And people know that that's my thing. We didn't talk about it. That's Jeff's favorite hotel, too. Huh. I know. And every time something like that happens, he's like, see? <laughs> <And I'm> like, <laughs> it's weird. I'm like, oh. <laughs> We just have all the stuff in common that's odd. It's funny. But anyway, let's let's do it here. Oh, what am I doing? We'll decide. I don't know. I, really? What am I doing? I'm pick so a color, to... blue and white. <laughs> right, pick a color. Here we go, log in. And then we want to go back to Facebook before we get going. I do um, send out cards over in... Um, Chrome. So if you have problems with sent out cards, do it in Chrome because I, I have very good luck over there. But I do Facebook over an internet. So let's see what's happening on Facebook on the main the main screen. Oh look at this, Scola. <laughs> Is Scola one of them guys? Oh that's funny. What is she doing? Oh, that's neat. Okay. Let's see. So what do you do? You just go through the main news feed and see what's up and yeah. Pick yeah, out like from last, there? Night, 
let's send Natasha one because that's pretty. She's doing a that's good, good one. Yeah, she's, that's yeah, good. she's the she's on my team. So um, let's do that and do one of those photo drop cards. So while we were sitting here, we just looked at a couple things. I do this so much that right away, as soon as I see a picture, I'm thinking which one I could do it with, which one, I, you know what I mean? I'm thinking which right. of right. And I think the more you do it, the more that'll happen. So you don't actually get on Facebook and look up any certain person and. Well, it, it usually um, I go by what the company talks about the promptings thing. So mm -hmm. if I talk to them on the phone, I may go look them up and do it that way. But okay. normally it's just like, um, you know how uh, a lot of people say they waste time by scrolling the news feed. Right. I go on there and scroll the news feed too. It's just that I end up looking for ways to send cards over it. So when okay. I'm scrolling the news feed, mm -hmm. I'm doing it for a purpose to send a card somehow. And that's what I need to do because I'm always sitting here trying to figure out who can I send a card to? And then I get oh, on here and I... Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, just scroll the feed. So That if takes you, up a lot of time. If you click on the house, you can go through and see who posted pictures and it'll be easy. Right. Because mm -hmm. they, they do it. She, she has a lot of pictures, Natasha, because that's her thing. That's her, Yeah, she does. Yeah, so let's go find her a good one over in PhotoDrop. I have one I'm thinking of, but uh, let's see if that's the one. So it's it's, not, it's an up and down, uh, vertical, vertical. I like her pictures where she's um where she's modeling the clothes. Yeah, right. Yeah. It looks really I'm nice hoping, in the clothes. It's funny she's going like this all the time in her thing, and I'm thinking I hope she doesn't regret regret that when she's like my age because <laughs> she's gonna have. <laughs> lines because like when someone smokes so much they <laughs> yeah I, I know I used to <laughs> <laughs> oh let's do the new one out of this world that's cute out of this world and oh that is cute because we'll pop her little picture right there yeah, and I'll yeah, just that's a good her one. marketing is out of this world yeah so let's do a flat card because that's easy that the whole idea of Facebook espionage is fast and easy there you go mm -hmm. Kind of like uh, hit it and quit it when you're talking right? about. Yeah. <laughs> and I do that, like it better on the phone app too. Oh yes, that that's quick. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. So you just pull up the design. When you touch image, you can use an image you've used before, or right. do up upload. And then I'm going to go up to downloads where I just put her, and there she is. Double click. It's gonna pop it right here. One click and it'll pop it right there. Oh, nice. See, and that's so easy. Now mm -hmm. let's go to the back. And, oh, I know I'll put hashtag how to slay. Is slay spelled that way? Slay mm -hmm. marketing? How to slay marketing. How are you using it? Like to slay the giraffe or to slay a dragon? <laughs> to slay a dragon. S-L-A-Y. That's right then, okay. How to yeah. slay marketing, that's supposed to be funny. Yeah. Right, right. Um, how about, let's see. Oh, Avon Superstar. Yay. Mm -hmm. uh, you da bomb, whoop bomb. There you go, that's it. <laughs> so the whole idea on a Facebook espionage <laughs> is quick and easy. And to me, I'm trying to make the person that gets it feel good. That, mm -hmm. that whole whole thing so now i'm just going to put a background oh uh, let's do i'm going to highlight it make it my font so it looks more personal from me um right there yay and then put a, just any old color background yay pink so that's the whole card here's the front here's the back and that's it then i check out i think the trick for me is i want to do it in like a minute Mm -hmm. build, build a card and send it in like a minute thought i better be specific about that right i don't necessarily want to do it in a minute i want to build a card and send it in a minute you guys aren't even getting that the phew there you go <laughs> i know taking a stroll down smut lane and you're not walking with me that's it smut hey lane. here we go the squirrel's running the internet up here today. 
It is. I've got yeah. the sunshine behind me, so you can't see my facial expressions, but I was right there with you. Oh, now see, this <laughs> happens every once in a while, and I may have to go do the card again, and that's okay. That happens. That's just because it took too long. And that's okay. We did it once. We can do it again real quick. That's no problem. The trick is don't panic. That's <laughs> the trick right there. See, we did it once quick. We can do it twice quick. That's right. Now, as you're doing it, do you save it so that if it does get stuck? Nope. You, you can go back and pick it up. Nope. If I did, I send out 12 on the fly cards a day. Talk nothing about the other 20 or 30 I send. If I saved every one, it would take too much time. This doesn't happen that often. So I might as well just do it over quick. Yeah. To me. So I don't remember what I did for hashtags, though. Avon Superstar. I remember that one. Um, what else did I do? Oh. You the bomb. Uh, you the bomb. And what was the other? Something slay in your marketing. You yeah. slay uh, marketing. Mm -hmm. Marketing. Yeah. No, you could do that, Marie. It's just that it doesn't happen to me enough to warrant that extra time. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was just Every once in a while, I will save it. And I've been glad that I've done that. Especially if I'm doing like a three- Panel. Oh, right. If I've got a lot and invested it stuck, in it. Yeah. 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 But to, I, I guess to me, for these, even, yeah. if, even if it's kind of involved, I don't mind because um, like I just did that in what, 30 seconds or whatever. Mm -hmm. Once I figured it out, once I usually can remember what I did. So yeah, this may, it, we may have, I may have an internet problem and, and it won't take it this time. You never know. This seems unusually long. Oh, no, we got it. Yay. Look at that. Yay. So now I'm going to go down here. And matter of fact, let's, let's send her something. She's always into something. She's got her two, two strapping young men living at her house that'll eat whatever I send. So uh, let's see what's new. Oh, look at it. Send, send her something fattening. She's always exercising, so she'll work it off. Oh, <laughs> oh! I thought you were being catty. Send her something. Yeah, fattening. I was. I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's see. make her work it for hard. Oh, how about um, the Halloween candy? There you go. Ooh, let's see. There was another one. Oh, this one. Oh, the, that's a good the, one. The boo box. Yeah, the boo box. Okay, you got booed. That's a good one. That's cute. <laughs> Oh, the boo box. She'll think that's cute, I think. Okay, I'm going to send her a boo box. Okay, there we go. And by the way, for those of you who aren't avid users like us on here that are watching, you can type in just about anything and find a person on this, including just their last name, just their first name, just the any word in their address, it will pull it up. And then you just tick the box and you do done. And now it's going to go back to the shopping cart. I personally look look up here to make sure this sends. This is what I want it to be. Send immediate, and the gift I wanted. Yep, and the return address I wanted. Yep, and the person I wanted. Yep, and then ready to send. I just look at it quick. The state is invalid. My state. Oh, somehow my state wasn't right on there. Okay. Oh, why that's weird. my state up here well that's kind of weird huh it is they must they must okay state enter when done okay state they must be having a problem up there i think is this it huh <coughs> well today is not the day huh hmm. let me see if that's gonna let me do it no it's not gonna do it that the either something about the browser okay let's go to mm -hmm. a different browser and see if we can't uh fix this here 
Yay, okay. I don't usually use Internet Explorer for this because I haven't had as good a luck, but we'll find out whether it's them or whether it was uh, Chrome. Just like Avon or any of the other companies, once in a while they get hung up on their server and it'll give you weird error messages like that. And if you mm -hmm. wait like an hour and go back in, they've restarted yeah. and they're all set. So that could just be one of those things. Let's see. How to build a card in one quick <laughs> lesson, right? So I, th I think with this too, is that's the thing is, um, oh, and I did that instead of the, continue without saving. me. I did that instead of the photo drop. Here we go, photo drop. Um, is not to panic, just to go to another browser. And if that's still the same problem, wait a while and go back. Mm -hmm. The trick is not to panic or let it bother you because stuff happens. It just right. does. Okay, now I need to do the hashtags again. Okay, <laughs> you the <duh>, bomb, <laughs> Avon superstar. You whoa whoa whoa. You slay marketing. Whoa, whoa. Learn how to type there, lady. You the bomb. There we go. So we'll see if it's uh, me or them here in a second. Okay, here we go. Background. There we go. Okay, now we're going to check out. It could be me too that um, I've had this happen as my router needs to be restarted and it'll give me weird error messages wherever I go. So it could be me, but it could be them. So let's do the gift. Well, see, once you made the decision, you don't have to make the decision again anyway, <laughs> right? We already decided what we want to do here. There it is. And add recipients. Yay. This is going faster. I think it was uh, Chrome for some reason. Ready to send. And see, it didn't have that same error message. It was um, something yeah. with Chrome. Isn't that weird? Mm -hmm. something with Chrome. So you'll notice, because I have a subscription, um, it was included. So I didn't have to pay for the card. I'm only paying for the Boo Box and the shipping and send. And that's it. There you go. Yay. So that was a long way around that. So the um, trick <laughs> is, right, um, the things to do if you get hung up like that or get thrown out of the system or whatever, uh, try a different browser. Sometimes I just back out of send out cards and, and sign back in, that solves it. If that doesn't, I go to a different browser. If that doesn't solve it, I use the app on the phone. I mean, there's a bunch of things you can try. Right. Yeah. And you could do Firefox. You don't have to do Chrome or Internet Explorer. So usually, usually it's that. Um, if I've done all that stuff and I still have a problem, I go restart my router or I restart my laptop because sometimes it is me, which right then had to be the browser. Mm -hmm. You're having trouble in Chrome and had no problem in an Explorer. So it's not necessarily them. That's what I'm saying. Because <laughs> I, I know a lot of people like, they're down and I'm like, well, let's talk about it. <laughs> Could be, but might not. So I think the trick is um, having goals for yourself. Like I try to do at least three espionages a day. Then I have my list that I'm working four cards a day. Um, my current lists are four of the book promotion card, four Avon customer cards. I'm doing four flat cards for the rally that's coming up in Andover uh, for Avon. And what's the other one? I think this one. No, those might be might be my three lists right at the moment. So I usually have three or four lists going where I'm sending four a day. 
the book promotion card, I'm actually sending five a day. So, and that's still, I think that they, it, they said it triggers the system if you're up to like eight. So I'm, I, I like to stay way below it. So I do four. And I've never got a, a letter of non-compliance from them. So, which I'm happy about. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. But if you get one, don't, don't panic. Just maybe contact me and tell me what you usually do. Usually it's that you sent too many of the same card in the same day. <coughs> so does it matter how many cards you send as long as, like you say, four or five of the same? But if you want to send a different card, you can send four or five of a different card in the same day. So you can send as many cards a day as long as they're not all the same. Yes. Okay. But matter of fact, you could do as many Facebook espionages as you could do while you're awake in a day. Okay. And one a day that they're all different. That's what they really want you to do is different one a day cards that are all different. Okay. That's what they're hoping for that you're doing. Because those are the ones that are most effective with your, whoever you're sending them to. Mm -hmm. um, the ones that are totally different. The ones that I'm sending four a day or five a day to are advertising cards that are all the same. But I found that if I just send three or four or five and keep it at that a day, they don't, it doesn't, the computer doesn't trick it, to trip it. Okay. And, but I've seen people get tripping it. And when I call them and say, how many did you send? They'd be like 25 in a day of the same card. Yeah. And they didn't send it as a system send. So if you want to send 25 in one day, pay the card fee and just send them. That's fine too. But trying to get it included in your subscription is where you can get the Nick card there. <laughs> the one where yeah. you get, I say you get Nick like it's a police arrest or something, but you, um, that's the only thing, but you can send as many cards as you want. And the, they call them heartfelt, the individual cards that are different, send immediates. You can mm -hmm. send as many of those different ones as you want anyway. Okay. On the mm -hmm. subscription. All right. yeah. But it's the other kind, like the birthday ones, mine are all system sends, which means I pay for them. Um, but because I'm on a subscription, the bigger my subscription, the less per card that I'm paying. I only pay a dollar per card plus postage. Right. That's actually, when they came out with that bigger package, that saved me more money than the package cost me because I send so many. Right. Mm -hmm. But the reason I send so many, there's lots of reasons, but that is my number one way I'm getting people coming back to my Avon team. Mm -hmm. That is the number one way. Matter of fact, the guy, you know, the guy from the network uh, marketing magazine that I was on the show yesterday, even though I haven't talked to him in damn near a decade, I haven't talked to him on the phone in damn near a decade. That sounds horrible. He feels like we kept in touch that whole time and it was one sided. It was me sending him cards three, four times a year. I huh. sent birthday. I, and even though I think he's Jewish, I send Christmas, but it's a holiday card. And all my cards have like an update, those kind of cards. So he's saying to me, because he babysat the kid at one of these events. You heard that yesterday. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> yeah, but he said he's watched the kid grow up and he feels like he's interacting with me when in reality, it's me sending him a card. Mm -hmm. But that's fine with me. You know right. what I mean? I still was interacting with him. It yeah, just that's felt awesome. a bigger, bigger scale, but it felt from his point of view, like we kept in touch more than we did. Right. Yeah. So then when we picked up our relationship from a phone call the other day, it, it, you know what I mean? It, it wasn't awkward or anything. And it was because of the cards, he even said that he said it was because you kept up with the cards and stuff. Hmm. So I think what happened, why we got, he got off my radar there for a while, except for the cards. Um, I wasn't, I hadn't talked to him or been to an event he's been to because he started that network marketing magazine the same year my kid was born and I was over my head. Oh, let's face it. I was, <laughs> I didn't come up for air for four years or so. You know what I mean? I had no idea what I was doing. I was just trying to make it go. And then of course, six months after I adopted, um, I brought Alex home six months after that, I, I needed to cut the, the husband 
loose and led him back <laughs> into the wild from which he came. So um, that so that was a whole production. So I got, you know, I I got not going to stuff with George somehow, but before that I had seen him a bunch of times. So, but that's how that works. <laughs> That was kind yeah. of the same with Bob Berg. Now, Bob Berg, I hadn't talked to him um, on the phone for quite a while when the kid was smaller. I, th I went to dinner with him when the kid was really small because I got a picture of Bob having the kid on his shoulder even. <laughs> and I went to one of his events. But then there was that time when I was just so busy raising the kid that I didn't go to some of Bob's stuff as much as I used to. I was only going to two, three things a year and it was all the convention or the annual trip for Avon. So, but it was the same thing. I kept in touch with Bob with the cards and all that. So when he started the Success Alliance, he called me uh, and was talking about something else. And uh, he said, uh, did you see that I'm doing this group? And I'm like, oh no, I'm in, you know, that's, and that's mm -hmm. been one of the best yeses I've done in the last couple of years. So I think the cards can really, like if you get really um, into a place where you have to, ha it eats up all your time, like either a health problem or raising a small child or your parents you're looking after or whatever, some, something happens that eats up all your time. By continuously using the send out cards thing, you're at least keeping those relationships going so that when you can circle back, it doesn't feel like you're starting over and they yeah. feel like they still know you. Right. So um, I'm really glad that at least I kept up with the sent out cards thing during whatever, you know, all the stuff going on when the kid was littler, because when I go to do something big like this book thing, I'm able to go back and everybody still remembers me. Everybody still, you know, has a connection with me. I didn't have to start over not knowing anyone. That would be hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? so, and some of that is I, I'm really, really careful about, I work the lists every day. I try to add somebody new every day. Uh, adding people lately has been a easy, a piece of cake. Sometimes <laughs> it's not so easy, but adding people lately has been so easy because I did not know any of Jeff's universe of people. And every day I'm meeting more of his business associates, more of his friends, more of his family. I now know uh, both his daughters and the kids and their names. And I looked them up to get their birthdays. And I, I all of these people I'm now knowing, I know, um, you know how my big mentor, I, I wonder if you can guess who it was. In my career over Avon, there's one man from corporate that's associated with me a lot. Do you know who I'm talking about? He's retired now, but whenever I'm at a corporate thing, they ask me about him and him about me when he goes into the Avon thing. I don't know how we got associated that close together. You don't know who I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Angie Rossi. So wow. he's like one of those mentors that I was so closely associated with him for the 20 years he was doing, you know what I mean, the North America thing that that he's just that much of a mentor for me and matter of fact i was thrilled that he did the endorsement for the book but um jeff has somebody like that too and it was one of his early bosses named jack amberson and jack's even in jeff's book with his real name in in the um unexpected tour guide he's even mentioned in there by his real name so I know him too now and I'm friends with him on Facebook and I've sent him a card. So his whole universe of people, mm -hmm. it's easy to have at least one or two a day that I'm adding to my send out cards and getting to know them and sending them cards. And I think that's important to have new stuff going on in your life that you're continuously meeting new people, continuously adding them to your database and finding ways to interact with them. Because mm -hmm. that's how you grow your business, believe it or not. Matter of fact, you know who asked me for a, um, my link that she didn't want a book? One of his daughters messaged me and said, I lost my Avon rep a while back. Can I buy from you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, keep your money. <laughs> I 
like, of course you can buy from me. <laughs> but I mean, I, I, and what's funny is in that project, in the book project, I don't think we've really talked about Avon that much. Um, I'm not sure how his daughter knew, but probably from the I don't know, publicity we're doing maybe. Mm -hmm. But she private messaged me and asked me for the link. So, but that's how you build that business. I, in my opinion, is that you've got to continuously put yourself out there, meet new people, and yeah. build your send out cards database. You got to go. Oh, she said I forgot. <laughs> You're waving, Maureen. It's time to go anyway. You're waving. Are you waving? No, yes. I can't hear you. <laughs> no, my daughter FaceTimed me. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I was waving goodbye to my daughter. Oh, okay. It's due <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to stop. But um, thank you very much for spending the hour. I hope you got something new. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah, <laughs> definitely. If not, at least maybe you re rekindled your commitment to do your daily your daily due diligence over at Send Out Cards, because I, I think that's going to make a difference in your core business, whatever it is. It may be Send Out Cards, but for most of us on here right at this moment, I think we either do another direct sales company or something. And um, you have to just stay after it every day. And this tool can really help you do that. Mm -hmm. I really believe that. Okay. So All I'll right. post Thank on, you. I'll post this up Thank on you, Lisa. Bye. See you next Bye. week. Okay, bye. Bye. Thank you.